Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm doing a quick review of the Site123 website builder. You can find them at site123.com. I've come across this website builder a handful of times. They actually reached out to me a few months ago to ask me to review their website builder. Um, so I'm finally getting to it now because a client actually who uses it had me log into their site to uh, do some changes. So I thought it'd be a good time to do a review. This company is pretty small, uh, based in Israel, I believe, and it looks like it's only been around or active since 2016 because that's kind of when it picked up some steam based on uh, archive.org with a lot of website changes around then. So it is fairly new, and just to warn you, I don't think this is a great website builder, but I'm just going to show you a few things and show you uh, why uh, in this video. And so if you're thinking about using it, uh, make sure to watch to the end and maybe I'll give some recommendations for some other ones that I think uh, may be a bit better. So it's pretty simple in its pricing. Uh, they have a free version which will probably just put you on a site123.com subdomain and then $10.80 a month in the US um, for their premium package they call it. I think they may have other pricing levels based on what I've seen but I'm not seeing it on their pricing page. So I'm logged in to an account that has a few different websites on it. I'm not sure how this would be billed for multiple websites, but I believe you only get one per, or these might be free ones, but you'd have to pay separately for these. So I'm gonna click on one of these just to show you what's available. Um, there's not a lot of settings here. There's some advanced, this is just the plan you're on. Uh, there's some domain settings. Here's a look at some of the other settings. There's statistics, which are in the pro account only. It looks like the package this account is on is called Advanced. So again, I think there's other packages or maybe they're old and not available anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Edit, which is gonna take us into the Website Builder. So it's got a toolbar on the left and then the website on the screen here with some more options on the right. So right away, if you were to log into the screen and wanted to make some quick edits, it's not super intuitive because, for example, I click on this text thinking maybe I can edit it, but I can't. And notice if I click up here, this does pop up a text editor where I can edit the text. But down here, it took me a few seconds, but I have to actually click on manage page because this is apparently a different page or section. So that just takes me to a text editor where I can then edit it using this pretty basic editor where you can just do, um, you know, text, images, and, you know, anything that's, that's allowed in this basic editor. So it's fairly limited there in terms of what you can do. So these other sections would probably work the same way. I'd have to actually manage the page. If I click page layout, they give me some different layouts for this page, which is really just a section of the home page it appears but it's also its own page I guess so the home page on this layout is just taking page data and putting it or page content and putting it onto the home page so if we go over and see what other options there are on the left I can click on pages which shows me all my different pages I can delete them I can edit them which will take me back to the screen I was on this is the page layout, and then there's some settings for the page, like show on menu, show on home page, footer, and slogan, and some SEO settings. If we click on design, we have the website name and logo, styles and fonts, header menu options, footer options, advanced website structure. So like I can change the layout of the top menu here. And then there's a few um, mobile settings as well. Actually, first, let's look at me menu navigation. There's a few settings for the menu. Mobile. So they claim to have mobile-friendly design. I think they do. doesn't appear to be a lot of options for the mobile site. A lot of website builders allow you to edit that independently. This one, I think, is just going to create the mobile site for you with a not, w without a lot of customization allowed to the actual user. And then there's settings, which just is some basic settings. Okay, so here's why it's showing. It's just multi-page. Show every page of your website separately. 
all so it looks like we have a single page design but it's that's not selected so i'm a little confused there got languages country some plugins which is just google analytics and bing webmaster tools and then some domain settings so not a lot of features compared to some of the website builders that are more popular uh, and have been around a while and actually here i checked out this icon i can actually preview the mobile site and let's see if they do allow me to edit so there might be some ability to edit some of this on mobile like for example hide some things on mobile that uh, you know don't fit or you don't want on the mobile site i haven't seen that option yet but they do at least let you preview the mobile site one of the reasons i logged into this site in the first place for my client was to try to add some uh, conversion tags for Google Ads advertising and I wasn't able to do that in this website builder because they don't give me access looks like you can add Google Analytics code but you can't do much else so it's gonna be pretty limiting in that way and just to give you an example of how limited the website builder is if I just look at this main section on the home page um, if I wanted to move this button up between this these two text lines I can't do that I can't like click and drag it um, most website builders are all drag and drop. You can move things around. Even building a WordPress website these days, you can use drag and drop builders. So you have access, easy access, just to move things around. And with this button, I can click on it. Actually, I'm getting an error for the link, but I, the button information is here. I can add two buttons. I can't change where they are. I'm not even sure how I would change the color. Looks like it's going off the main website color. And then it's just for the text, it's just title one, title two, title three. So I, I can't really, I can delete one of these, but I can't change how this is organized. So it's very limiting. So again, you could create a real basic website with this, but um, it doesn't compare to some of the other website builders. So overall, it's an okay website builder, very basic. Um, it's pretty cheap, you know, under $11 per month. But I can't really recommend it just because there's so many website builders that are way better than this. This kind of strikes me as a website builder from maybe 10 years ago, you know, or maybe five years ago, to be fair. Um, but website builders have advanced way beyond this. So I don't see a lot of reason to use this one unless maybe you're on it and you don't want to switch. I wouldn't create a site with this website builder. Uh, I'll link to some of my favorite website builders. Uh, in the uh, links below so check that out and I've done reviews on a lot of the other website builders I use as well so you can check those out I'll link to one of those in the next video and we'll see you there